How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, bringing you episode number three of OTP Hockey Night. We had a bunch of great highlights for this one, some nice little dangles, so let's stop wasting time and let's start this countdown. Number 10 comes to us from M. Dangles, but he doesn't do any dangling here. He crosses the blue line and dumps it in. Then he goes hard to the net, gets the pass, and scores a nice goal. Hockey Basics 101. Number 9 happens so fast, if you blink you'll miss it. I Dangle goes into the faceoff circle, takes a nice snapshot right off the faceoff, and fools the goalie. Quick release, a quick goal. Number 8 comes to us from Jay Novakovic, and he shows us some great defense. Look here, he's the center, winning those battles down low, and on a penalty kill, he clears the zone. Luckily, his winger picks up the puck, and he drives hard to the net, gets a good pass, and finishes up the play. Nice defense to offense, Novakovic. Number 7 comes to us from Malkin, and he shows us what a backhand he has here. He gets the puck on a partial break, and it looks like he's going to lose it. Not enough space, and then boom, pulls the backhand off at the last second. Good job, Malkin. Way to never give up. A boss makes a return on our countdown, but this goal cannot all be credited to him. Some great passing here. Two passes already. Three passes. A fourth pass and a nice goal. Tic-tac, tic-tac-toe. Good job, boys. It's now time for a new segment. Superb Man's Highlights. That's right. Apparently, there's a few people thinking it wasn't fair if Superb Man had his highlights in the top five. So now you guys are going to have to deal with the whole segment dedicated to my highlights. And you know what? I didn't have too many different highlights. I was pulling off the same move, and it worked in four different games. I like to call this move the Ric Flair. You know why? Because every time I pull it off, I'm going to be shouting, Woo! That's right. Look at this. Turn the corner. Inside. Woo! Oh, yeah, baby. And that was shorthanded. And look at this. Ten seconds left. Woo! There you go. Tie game. Number five comes to us from V Corleone with a great name, and he shows us he's got a better backhand than Malkin. Look at that. He could have gone forehand, but he stretches the goal and goes backhand. Way to go, Vito. Number four comes to us from M. Merlucci, who shows us that he has duct tape on that stick. Look at that. Look how many bodies he skated through, but he still managed to get it done. And number three comes to us from Merlucci again. Still doing the same thing with his duct tape stick going inside, outside, inside, backhand. Nice goal. Way to go, M. Merlucci. Number two comes to us from Shortside, who does all the work. He gets the puck, comes into the zone, crosses up, still has the puck, goes around the defender, comes across, and goes far side against his name. Great individual effort there, Shortside. Our top highlight is a beauty, and it's from V. Corleone. It starts off, though, with some good passing. Left wing to the center, center to the right defenseman. Right defenseman to Corleone. He goes in, toe drag, cuts across the goal, and scores. We got to take a look at that again. Look at this. Toe drag, power forward, busts through the crease, and scores a nice power forward goal. Way to go, Corleone. All right, boys, so we hope you enjoyed this episode of OTP Hockey Night. If you'd like to participate in a future OTP Hockey Night, we're going to let you guys know through Facebook or Twitter or a YouTube bulletin about three or four hours before the next one happens, okay? So that's the only way. And I'll put up another video showing you guys the instructions on how to get in. For Johnny Superb Man and the Great Domsky, take it easy, boys, and we'll see you next time.